Have you ever wondered of what your spiritual legacy will be for your kids or grandkids or the next generation? As I get older, I think about it a great deal. And at first I thought I'd write a book on, uh, on aging and explore some of the myths of aging and, and explode them. But my daughter said to me, well, you know the uh, biblical scripture very well. Why don't you use that? So I opened up my Bible and discovered, to my surprise, that when a friend had died, I noted in the Bible their name and the date of their death opposite the scripture that was used at their funeral. And so it occurred to me that what I should be doing is writing about these people, and there are 40 of them. Um, why was that text chosen for their funeral? What did it reveal about them as a person as I knew them? And what does it mean for the faith community today? So that's what I'm doing. I'm calling the book, uh, I Want to Be in That Number. Mm -hmm. So it's about contemporary saints, some of whom are hidden, and we don't recognize them, but they all have a contribution to make. And then it occurred to me that I'm really writing about the communion of saints uh, that we talk about, but not very much. So um, I invite you to explore this, to uh, look at uh, who the saints are in your life and what they have contributed uh, to, to you and to the faith community. I've included people I've met all around the world through the World Council of Churches and through the ecumenical movement, but I've also included my father and mother and sister and close friends. So I hope you'll come, and I hope that you want to be in that number too.